Hey guys, that's it here. This isn't as much of a new build as it is a progress update for my Fire Crusader and how I got to farming Torment 4. Now you might have seen my video from two days ago that focused squarely on the build. However, yesterday the RNG gods smiled on me and a white mob in a Torment 3 rift dropped this beautiful Maximus. I consider this a game changer, a best in slot for the build for reasons that you'll see in the demonstration in a few minutes. Shortly after I got the Maximus, RNG gods smiled on me again and I finally managed to re-roll the fire-based Stone of Jordan that I got last week to have an offensive stat and with this I accomplished my goal of having over a million DPS with a Stone of Jordan, which as you know is a ring that deprives me of several other typical sheet DPS boosters and provides me with a lot of more effective DPS. I will quickly go over my build and items. The only significant change I made was replacing Judgment with Resolved for Shield Glare with Divine Verdict. I did some testing yesterday and I really feel that Judgment with Resolved is aimed more at Crusaders that ignore crit chance on gear in favor of cooldown reduction and resource cost reduction. Since I don't do that and in fact I have very decent crit stats across all of my gear, Divine Verdict's percentage-based increase of damage against blinded enemies benefits my killing speed way more. I also found that I prefer the skill because of its shorter cooldown and the blindness effect, which is a more powerful crowd control effect compared to the simple snare of judgment. I'll just show you the items one by one. If you would like to hear the in-depth explanation for my gear choices and how I swap out weapons in battle, check out my previous video which I linked in the description below. If you've already watched it, you can see that I abandoned the utility of the Golden Flens Flail in favor of the sheer damage potential of the Maximus. While I am not able to spam sweep attack nearly as much as I was able to before, this addition to the weapon department more than makes up for it. This is it for the build, now let's show it off in action on Torment 4, against trash packs, against the leads, and even against the butcher himself. You can see me make a small mistake here, I should have cleared more of the trash enemies if I wanted to have both bombardments drop on the bounty boss. Remember that all bombardment runes, except the last one, pick their own targets on the battlefield, so clear as much trash as you can to avoid wasteful bombardment. You can already see the devastation that the fire chain between yourself and the demon spawn from Maximus brings. The proc is very frequent, you will have about 70% uptime of the demon spawn, so you'll constantly be thinking on how best to position yourself in a fight to get the best out of the fire chain. That is what makes it, I think, such a powerful and fun legendary to play with.
Many Crusaders have abandoned Steed Charge, which is not only a shame because it's a super cool looking signature skill, but it would also be a mistake in the build with Maximus in hand, since it allows you to quickly maneuver and spread the chain wide to devastating results. My timer for all bounties, including the first which I didn't manage to fit in the video, was 20 minutes. My overall goal is to bring the bounty and the rift timer on Torment 4 to about 10 minutes before I move on to Torment 5. This will be accomplished first and foremost by upping my toughness with about a million. I feel that about 7.5 to 8 million toughness, of course reached mostly with damage mitigation and not with HP stacking, will bring me to a very comfortable spot for Torment 4 farming.
Not yet. As you can see, without claiming that I stomp him or anything, and even making a few mistakes, I still managed to keep the butcher fight within a reasonable 2 minute limit. I believe this is respectable for a solo crusader on Torment 4. I hope you enjoyed what you saw, and if you'd like to see more of my daily content about Diablo, I would appreciate your subscription, and I hope to see you again here on YouTube and at Twitch TV slash DeadSet, where you'll see me maining Crusader live. That's all from me, and I'll see you guys next time.